What's going on everyone? Welcome back. I hope everybody's having a great day. Guys, there will not be a Friday evening hangout due to Christmas, obviously. But what we're going to do is we're going to do on Wednesday evening, 5 p.m. Eastern Time. So yes, we'll have it the day before Christmas Eve, Wednesday, this Wednesday, 5 p.m. Eastern Time. If you can, join us. As always, we'll have a great time. All right. One of you guys had given me a page to look at. You said, Chris, you got to check this video out. There's something really interesting in this. And I was like, okay. So when I was watching the video, there's several links. So I clicked on this one here, and it's from JPL. Now, this goes back to, I think, 2016. Let me show you the one I'm talking about. Okay, it's right there. You can see it's NASA Jet Propulsion Laboratory, or JPL. And you can see right here, October 3rd, 2016. Now, what I find interesting about this is it so looks like a mountain or a butte. And everybody else here will agree. If you look at this right here, you go, okay, uh, that's what I see. I see a mountain, I see a butte. However, take a very close look at the very top. And of course, I can't zoom into this because it's a video. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this down into Photoshop and let you guys have a real close look at this thing. And then I'm going to brighten up the areas that have, have like a bright signature and bring them really out. And then you're going to see this thing. It's just amazing. Now, don't forget to use your magnifiers. You'll need those too. Because there's going to be times you guys are going to want to pause this and have a closer look. Okay. Check this out, guys. At the very top of this so-called butte, there is what looks like framework in plain sight. This is what's amazing. Now, when you see it, it has like it looks like a framework of some sort, or it's like a front fascia of a building of some sort. Let's get into this. So again, credit is from NASA JPL, and you can see it right here. And this is Maury Buttes, by the way, and you can see it right here. This 360-degree panorama, and of course, you can actually move it back and forth. See this? So you guys will get the link to this. You guys can check it out yourself. Was acquired by the Mass Cam on NASA's Curiosity Mars rover while the rover was on an area called Murray Buttes on Lower Mount Shop, one of the most scenic landscapes yet visited by any Mars rover. Yeah, this will bring a whole new meaning to the word scenic. Trust me. The view stitches together many individual images taken by the Mass Cam's left eye camera on September 4th, 2016. The rover's location when it recorded the scene was the site it reached in the Sol 1448. Now, we have done, I know this for a fact, we have probably done this area at some point, or at least a Sol. I know that for a fact. We've done it. And, of course, you can see the map here. You can click on it and all this other good stuff. Okay, so let's get into this. All right, here it is here. Now we can actually zoom into this, okay? Now, have a look at this, guys. Now, this is the original photo. All I do is basically a screenshot. That's pretty much it. Now, just look at this thing close up. Look at this piece here. How does anybody look at that and call this natural? Okay. You can see something else. It looks like it's kind of going straight, but it kind of looks like it bends here, but goes like this, comes down, goes back up. Oops. And there's a middle piece right here. And what looks like something going like this, slanted. But have a closer look. It keeps going. It looks like it wraps into here. Now, check out the other side of this piece here, the center. But before we do that, check this out. Straight piece coming down. Okay. And this is going to make a whole lot more sense in a moment, guys. Watch this. This is cool. This coming down like this. And look at the way this bends. And you can see the straight line coming all the way down here. Okay. But take a look at the real faint line right there. Okay. See that? Right here doing this. Kind of get the same curvature, and then comes back down. Okay, so it's literally like this thing literally comes out, like it bulges out of the center of this, coming out like this here from this side to this side. At least that's the way it appears. Okay, now also have a look at areas like this on the right-hand side. Look at the shapes that are into this side of this mountain. Okay, check this out. This is cool. This right here. And you're going to see that a whole lot better because I'm going to brighten this up. See, that? it's got like a little bit lighter signature, almost like a metal kind of look. Well, we're going to brighten this whole thing up right here. And you're going to see the shape, the actual shape, a little bit better. Now, there's so much more in here, guys. It's just wild. Example, this right here. Okay. There's another one on the side of it. What are the chances of having all of these shapes and what look like framework in a mountain? This is the reason why I was saying, guys, I'm starting to believe that this is some kind of framework and maybe it was either encrusted in dirt or they were building into these things for maybe 
to avoid the solar radiation, the sun, the radiation from the sun, right? It just makes you wonder. It's mind-boggling when you see this. We have what looks like step pieces here going like this. And there's a piece right here. You can see that kind of like this the kind of thing going like this here. See that? That's just cool. You see something right here coming down. Nice 90 degree angle. You can see something right here too. Just look at the faint lines. Here's a perfect example right here. Look at the way this thing comes down. Goes across. You guys see that? Look at the faint line right in there. Pay attention to lines. Lines tell all. Also, look at here. Almost like this machinery. This is going like this. Comes into a square piece. Has a separation or at least a line in it. So I don't know if it's a design piece. Not sure, but check that out. The other little squares and circles and stuff like that in this. Is this mechanical or is this a structure? What is this? Let's have a closer look at the top here. This is cool. Let me just back it up just a hair because it's a little too close and I don't want to do that. Check out the other shapes in here. Example. This right here coming up, goes across, and it kind of fades off right here. Now, have a look at this under piece that goes under here. Okay, looks like something's going from here to here. Okay, but look at this right here. It comes up nice and straight, stops, goes across. This piece looks like it meets on the other side, comes down, and goes like this. Okay, like that there. You guys see that? Look at this. That, to me, is amazing, and there's no way that that's natural. I don't believe that it is. Now, there's a couple other pieces here. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and just do the full enhancement and have you guys really get a close-up of this. Because this is neat. This is cool. Right here. Doesn't look like much until you look at the lines. Now, let me just back out just a little bit because it is a bit blurry on my end. So I'm sure it is on yours. Right here. This is cool. See this faint line going like this. Stops. And then comes back down. I've got this nice 90 degree piece right here. Going like this. There's something right here. You can see it just trace it along. That's like a light tannish color. Pieces that look like have rectangular pieces down like this. See this? Check that out. Like designs in this wall piece. And you can see this right here. Almost looks like it, like it kind of designed around this piece here. See that? Like it's doing this. Let me get rid of those lines for a moment. Check that out. Okay. You can see this has been obfuscated like to the max. Right here. Completely taken out. Okay. Now, also take note of the stuff inside here. Look at the small little tiny pieces in this area. Check the way those things do that. Is this really natural? Guys, look at this. Curvature, this piece right here. Looks like it's doing this and then down. You guys see that? Look at the squares and the pieces that lie in the side of this hill. Is this actually half like stone and gravel and, and, and steel structures underneath? Was this kind of like an outer layer that's now blown away from it? And this is we see the debris? Kind of like um, a lot of the... Egyptian pyramids that we see where it had like its own stone casing stone and now it's now gone and you can see the actual uh, megalithic stones there right is that a possibility I don't know now let me back out of here a little bit I want to go to full enhancement and we're gonna have a closer look now look at these pieces up here now I'm gonna zoom right in take note of this stuff right down here Right in here, this is all dirt. And you can still see it a little bit when you do the original. See it? Okay. So now I'm going to go to the full one, which is right here, and enhances all of this right here, all of these lines I just pointed out earlier. Check this out, guys. Seriously? What is going on here? And how is this natural? This right here. Almost looks like this kind of like comb, like you're using your hair kind of thing. Look at this. Goes up, goes across, goes down. Goes like this. Kind of does this here. I'm not sure what to make of that, but... This piece goes all the way around, goes back up to here. Notice there's a dock area here, one here, and it looks like a docker one here. Let me get rid of the lines. Check that out. 
Okay, I don't know of any rock that does this, okay? I don't. I don't know of any rock that has, it looks like either a bent piece of steel laying on the ground or something of that sort, right? We also have this area here. It almost looks like it's silverish or has a steel look to it right here. This piece looks like it does this, has a circle type thing. Go like this. Look at the edge. Is that natural here, guys? What are we seeing here? Look at the other pieces down here. Right there. In fact, look at the whole thing because I'm just looking at this now and it's kind of blowing my mind. This piece right here. Check this out. Let's go ahead and draw this in here. You have what looks like an inner edge to this. And then we have what looks like something branching off like this, right? Something doing this. Look at this lighter piece here. Has this dark circle right there. And then check out the side pieces, these gray pieces doing this. Coming around. This comes down from this side. It goes like this. And you can see just a little bit of black right there. Or darker detail. Doing this. And you can see this part coming down. What are the chances of a rock doing this just like that? Now, have a look at the other bits on the bottom here. These pieces. Now, let me go ahead and do, go back to the original. They're there. Clearly, you can see these pieces are there. Now, I used the burn tool to see if we can find if these things are any larger. And you can see we did find a little bit more of it. And clearly, there is. Check out the little bits and pieces, guys, on the ground here. Look at this. I'm just going to scroll over here to the left. This is a junk pile. These are not rocks. And let's say they are pots of stone. If they're stone, they're part of whatever this thing was. And just, oh my God, guys, look at this. This is what's mind-blowing. Check out this region right here, this back of this hill. What is going on here? This is awesome. Look at the shapes of these things. What does this in nature? Absolute proof of more structures on Mars. Look at this. Have a close look at these things. Look at the white areas. Okay. This in here. There's no way this thing is a regular hill. I believe either there was something they built into or they made, they put sand and rock all the way around these things. I don't know. I truly do not know the real answer to this. But I do know what I'm looking at and that does not look anything like natural notice the different layers it's almost like shingling you'd use on your house now this one has this weird shape here this is cool okay back here it's like it's stepped overlaying each other some people will say hey look there's a face sitting right there who knows right at this point but again look at the shapes what are the chances of all these 90 degree angles inside of a dirt hill or a mound, a butte, call it what you will. What are the chances of that? That's why you got to take a really close look at these things and just really analyze these. Here's something right here laying on the ground. Now, what I want you guys to take note of is this piece right here. And I'll zoom into that. Look at this piece coming right out of what looks like something right here. Looks like a giant stone tongue coming out of it. But you can see something doing that. Check this out. Here's the original, and you can see it right there. And you can see it just faintly coming out like this. All right? Burn this around because you can see that this has absolutely been fudged. You can see it right here. Right there. See that? Okay. So if we were to burn this, we can actually find edges to it. Whatever that thing is, it's laying right there. Here's another area. This whole area right here was completely blocked out right there see it but take note of the piece right there you can see it right here and this is kind of a large marker tool so it's gonna and you can see the dot right there right see it right there just faintly this is manipulation more stuff it's just something else to hide more things on the ground here check this out bits pieces that are just weird, man. It just does not make sense in nature. Now, nature here on Earth can do some crazy things. We know that. But come on. What are the chances having all of these 90-degree angles in one freaking area? Come on. Even the background here. Check this out. Look at this in the back. Notice what looks like 
this right here. But when you look at it closely, that looks like there's little dividers. See this like it's doing this. Of course, they're not all the same, but they look like they have openings to them. See that? Here's that gold pot I was telling you about down here. That's more enhanced, meaning with the burn tool. And you can see that right there. Now, doing it in black and white, check out the shapes of this thing. Right? There it is. The lines and all are right there. There's no mistaking this at all. None. It's right there. All I did was enhance it. Let me go back and forth. All right? Check that out. Just enhanced. It's just to bring the lines that are dark, bring them out darker. That's all that is. These pieces all in here. No way is this thing natural. It looks like machinery or something built into the side of this thing. I, I don't know how to explain it. What do you guys think? As always, guys, give me your thoughts. You know, every time you see these buttes with some kind of mechanical something or other in them, you can't help to think it's like a hybrid structure, like built out of steel and overlaid with rocks and dust. Would that be accurate? Do you guys have a better idea? Drop your comments down below. Let me know what you think. Please like and share as always. And guys, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up so YouTube will share it. And guys, like I said, join me Wednesday evening, 5 p.m. Eastern time. We'll do our hangout then, and then we can all have our Christmas with our family. So be there, guys. Let's do an awesome hangout as we always do and get together. Have a great talk. Got so many little tabs open here to show you guys just cool, cool stuff. So anyway, guys, don't forget to join me then. Anyway, guys, have yourselves a great night, and I will see you on the flip side. Peace, guys.